Hi, I'm Jessica with That Hashtag Show, and I'm here with the creators of the Mysterious Benedict Society to talk about season two. Um, so to kick things off, season one, we had the emergency, right, which was really focused on manufactured fear and anxiety. And then in season two, we're switching over and kind of going in the opposite direction, manufactured happiness. But there's still like that sinister element to that. Um, so what similarities and differences did you want to highlight in those two conflicts? Well, we sort of wanted to, what we figured out is that no matter what angle he's coming from, Curtin is trying to control people. And in a way, our thesis of the show thematically, one of them is it's really not great to control people. You really shouldn't be trying to control other people all the time. And so he's just trying, he has this need and he's and part of this series, season two is figuring out what is that need? Where does it come from? Could that be healed, hopefully? Um, but uh, yeah, but that like strangely happiness, offering people happiness is a really good means to control them for him as well, you know? Uh, so that's how they're kind of tied together. It kind of comes from the need that's in the villain. Yeah. That and it allows us he can deprogram. <laughs> and it allows us to explore the nature of, of happiness. What is true happiness? Can it exist if it's manufactured? Do, do you have to experience the whole range of emotion to really understand happiness and be happy? <laughs> Do you think that the controlling by happiness is even more powerful than the controlling by sort of fear and anxiety? I think so because it's addictive in a way. You know, it's 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 seductive. You you know who you know who doesn't want to be happy? You know, and and the question becomes like, what's the cost of that? Is there a cost to that? And so as we uh, jet set off into season two, we get to explore a lot of different relationships and new dynamics, especially since it's been a year since the first the events of the first season happened. Um, and all of the kids had new homes to go to and then are coming back together for this new adventure. What relationship dynamics were you most excited to explore in season two? I think oh, we were, right. oh, sorry, so, several yeah. of them, because with the fun of season two is we get to kind of recombine the characters in unlikely pairings and groups. And Matt had mentioned earlier a scene where, where Rhonda and Rainey like kind of are on their own for a minute and they get to have kind of a heart to heart that is really unexpected and kind of wonderful. Uh, so it's, that was really fun. And also we really, the, the idea of letting Curtin and Benedict get to spend time together, which in the first season they didn't, they really just confronted each other in one scene, but like the idea of them being able to be in the same room and exploring that relationship was really fun as well. Yeah. Cause there's some petty, they, 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 they're brothers at the end of the day, they're, they're always brothers and there's just, petty jealousies that sometimes override the, you know, the, the more pressing matters. And so it's always, it, and that's the kind of thing we always love to explore. Very true. It's more than just the surface level of what's going yep. on. Yes. <laughs> For sure. Um, and so season two, we are jet setting into this big epic scavenger hunt and going to all these different locations. Do you have any favorite scavenger hunt clues or cool locations that you got to create for this season? I personally love the, uh, there's one that because it's emotional, there's a, there's a puzzle that resolves. I don't know if it's a spoiler or not, but Constance, because she's also the most surprising person to have kind of an emotional cue be the, the thing. There's a moment where she, it all hinges on a gift she was given by Benedict. So it hinges on a very emotional memory for her. And so that's my favorite kind of puzzle is where it teaches you, they get this answer, but it really teaches us as the audience something about Constance and brings us closer to her. So that's my favorite of the year, I think. I, I agree with that. It also led to the creation of some of my favorite props of the, of the, of the season. So, so you, you'll, you'll see that. And also there are a couple puzzles that, that kind of like, uh, I think people will recognize some of the, some of the mechanisms from stuff from their childhood, which mm -hmm. is, which is really, at least, at least I did. Maybe my childhood was different than everybody else's, but I think there are some commonalities. I think so. I think think tank. something. <laughs> yeah, I grew up in a lab. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. All right. And what do you think is the biggest difference between the first season and the second season? That's a good question. I think for us, they really are a continuum. You know, I think they really go together well, but I think the difference is just the feel of movement that they're, you know, the first one was kind of an undercover tale. It was kind of like a, 
you know, like a spy story almost. And this one is more like a, like an adventure, like they're running and running and taking every possible mode of transportation and kind of out in the world on their own. And like, so that the feel is a bit different while the character stuff and the humor and all that stuff is really, you know, still very much the Benedict style. Yeah. And I think, I think a lot of the season is kind of dealing with what happened in the first season in terms of now we have a family now, but but now that I've got, now that we've created this family, what is my place in it? You know, what does it mean to be a member of this family? What does it mean when we chafe against each other? You know, what does it mean if my, my brother is all of a sudden seen as a hero when he was the villain? You know, where, where does that leave me? Why does everyone see me as a bummer? Um, there's, uh, there's so many dynamics that are, that are really fun to explore based on where they landed last season. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to everybody getting to see it. Mysterious Benedict Society, season two on Disney+. Plus. Thank you both for talking with me today. Thank you. Thanks so much, Jessica.